Hi everyone, this is Valerie from Motopress. Thank you for joining us for another video in our how-to series. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to fix email delivery issues on your WordPress website with the help of the free plugin. But before we get to the technical part, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more helpful content and ring the bell to receive notifications from the WordPress channel. So if you want your WordPress emails to actually make it to the inbox, stay tuned. By default, WordPress sends emails with PHP, which isn't the best option for several reasons, and these reasons are spam filtering and server configuration. And by using the PHP option, many mail services risk ending up in spam folders or in some cases even not reaching the recipients. To improve email deliverability, we recommend sending emails using a simple mail transfer protocol, SMTP. SMTP changes the way your site sends emails by appropriately authenticating them. And there are two ways to use SMTP with WordPress. To use a function or to create an SMTP connection with the help of a WordPress plugin. The main advantage of using a plugin is its user friendliness, so no coding skills needed. Multiple options are available on the market, but the most popular of them is WP Mail SMTP by WP Forms. In order to use WP Mail SMTP, you must have a self-hosted WordPress site. WP Mail SMTP has both free and paid versions. For this video, I'm going to use a free version of the plugin. And once the plugin is installed and activated, you can use the plugin's wizard to configure all the necessary settings or do it from the dashboard. Under the General tab, the first section is License, which allows you to connect your paid account, it's, be it a pro version, a lead, or another tire. Just paste the license key and press Connect. And if you're using a free version, you can skip this step. And this is what I'm actually doing now. Next, uh, this is the email address uh, that all of your site's emails will be sent from. We recommend that you also check the box labeled Force from email, and doing so will ensure that you use the same from email across your WordPress site. The name you choose here will appear in outgoing emails that your WordPress site sends to customers. However, you can change this to anything you'd like. You can also choose to enable the voice from name setting to apply this name to all emails site-wide. We recommend checking the optional return path checkbox to set the return path to match the from email. With this uh, checkbox checked, you'll receive an email if any messages bounce due to issues with the recipient's email. In the next step, uh, we'll choose a mailer service. The mailer service will depend on a lot of factors and you should choose the email provider that you think is the best fit for you. You should consider services like SendLayer, SMTP.com and SendingBlue if you're an owner of the large sites that send tons of emails on a daily basis, but these services will cost you and the cost will depend on the number of emails and user accounts. For small business sites or blogs uh, that have moderate traffic, Gmail is a great option 
In this video, we'll cover the setup process when selecting Gmail. Gmail is a really great way to make your WordPress site's emails more reliable without spending money on a dedicated service. So Gmail lets you send up to 500 emails per day. So we see the Gmail option requires additional info such as client ID and client secret. To obtain them, you'll need to sign in to Google and open your Google Cloud console. You may also be asked to agree to terms of service uh, if it's your first time using Google Cloud. Next, choose a project to use for your app. Uh, you can select an existing one if you have it or create a new one. For this tutorial, I'll create a new one. Enter a project name, uh, then click on Create, uh, then open the navigation menu from the top left corner of the screen, and go to APIs and Services. Uh, then you need to click Library, and on the API Library page, uh, search for Gmail API, then click on the Gmail API result and on the next screen click Enable. After you enable the Gmail API, you should be redirected to the Gmail API overview page and here you should click on the Create Credentials button. On the next page, Google will ask a few questions to determine the credential type you need, and from the Select an API dropdown, choose Gmail API. After that, under What data will you be accessing, select the User Data option, then click the Next button to proceed. The details in this form are mostly for personal use. Type in an app name that makes sense to you. Uh, pick your email from the user support email drop-down. Uh, you can skip the logo. And finally, add your email address in the email address uh, field. Then uh, click on the Save and Continue button. To move on uh, to scopes, uh, scopes aren't required for your app, so we can scroll past the entire section and hit save and continue again. In the next section, we're going to set up the client ID that we need for WP Mail SMTP to connect your Google account. In the OAuth client ID dropdown, choose web application. You can change the name if you want. Then scroll down to the uh, Authorized Redirect URL section and click Add URL and paste this link uh, from the WP Mail SMTP setup settings. Then click on the Create button to complete the step. So you can go ahead and click the uh, Done button at the bottom of the page. Now we're going to edit your app to put it into production. To switch from testing mode to production mode, click OAuth consent screen in the left-hand navigation pane. Under Publishing Status, click Publish App, then click on Confirm. And when confirmation is complete, you'll see that your app's publishing status is now in production. We're almost done. As the final step, we need to connect WP Mail SMTP to Google, and without this, the app won't be able to send emails. For this, uh, we're going to click on Credentials in the left side menu. 
Once you're on the credentials page in the OAuth um, client ID section, you can see the details of the web application uh, you just created. And uh, on the right side of this page, you'll see uh, actually the client ID and client secret values. You need to copy both of these values into the corresponding fields in your WP mail SMTP settings, be careful uh, here. And once you've pasted these values, uh, click on the Save Settings button. And after saving your settings, uh, the page will refresh. Uh, you must grant permission before Google allows the plugin to use Gmail API to send emails and to do this scroll to find the button labeled allow plugin to send emails using your Google account. This will open a login screen for Google. Log in to the account you're setting up SMTP with. Next you'll see a screen asking for permission for this site to send emails on your behalf. And when you're ready, uh, click uh, the Allow button to proceed. If you see a warning that your app is not verified, don't worry. Uh, free Gmail users will see this because Google hasn't checked the app. So we don't need uh, Google to check it. The app won't be used by anyone else. So go ahead and click Advanced and then go to and save option. And when the connection is complete, you're ready to send a test email. To do so, navigate to the email test tab. And once the email test tab is open, you'll need to enter an email address whose inbox you have access to. Then click the send email button. And once the test email has been sent, you should see a success message that reads success test html email was sent successfully you should also soon receive the test email at the email address you entered after checking my inbox this is what we see perfect now you can easily check that your emails are successfully reaching users' inboxes with the help of the logs. This information is useful for monitoring your site's email activity as well as troubleshooting. That's it for today. I hope this video was helpful and you learned how to ensure reliable email delivery. And if you have any more questions or additional feedback, drop a comment below. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.